guys welcome back okay so as you can see today I went ahead and did like a bold rainbow eye look and I created it using the pure and raw beauty Christie double-sided palette of course you guys know what side I used <laughs> the colorful side I didn't even touch the neutral side just because you know it just doesn't call to me I picked up this palette mainly because I wanted to support Raw Beauty Christy. And you know, I love her content. She's so, so super sweet. I was literally in tears when she announced her pregnancy because watching her over the years and knowing what she went through, I'm just so super duper happy for her and proud that she actually collabed to do an eyeshadow palette. I know that's so exciting. It's something that I would love to do in the future, so I can only imagine how she feels. Unfortunately, we all know the launch didn't go that great, you know. As a matter of fact, I was shocked when I got, um, uh, well, here's the thing. I didn't get a notification that I had, you know, my order went through and I was going to get the palette. I just assumed that I didn't get through because it kept you know kicking me out every time I tried to order it and I tried it a lot but when I checked my bank account I saw that <laughs> the exact amount for the palette came out so when I called they were like yes we're you know having to manually process a lot because of the issues with the website blah 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 so I was actually lucky enough for my order to get through and me actually get a palette. So I'm really happy about that. So excited that I was able to support Christy. Um, I'll just put the specifics regarding the palette here on the screen for you to see. Uh, but it is really cool, very, very cool. She did all of the artwork for the palette. It is a double-sided palette, as you guys know. There is a neutral side, as well as a bright, bold, colorful side, which I think is really cute because this palette is very compact for it to have, what is it, 18 shades in here? Yeah, nine and nine. It's very compact, so very easy to travel with, very durable. It's not cheap or flimsy at all. So I think that's really, really cool about this palette. Now, when I went in to use the palette, I really just felt like doing a colorful look. I wasn't going in trying to really do a review and all that stuff because there's so many reviews out already. And quite honestly, it goes from, I love the palette to the palette sucks. <laughs> so in my opinion, what I will say about using these shadows, since I did use the colorful side, this <laughs> honestly has to be like, the most powdery formula I have ever used in my life. I've never seen so much kick up from an eyeshadow palette. It's a lot. Now, Bean is familiar with using pigments and bright, bold colors as I am. You know, it didn't bother me. It's just, it's a lot of kick up, it's very powdery, but they are extremely pigmented, as you can see. The pigmentation is there. Um, but for someone who's not as familiar with using pigments or someone who doesn't like using pigments or kind of shies away from a lot of kick up, you won't like this. <laughs> you won't like this. So I'm just letting you know that now you won't like it because it is a lot of kick up from this palette. Me personally, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. As long as I can get some color, I'm fine. So that's really my only thoughts as far as this palette goes it's pigmented i didn't have issues with blending or anything like that it was just a lot of kick up if you like to do your face first uh, -uh you you can't not with this palette you can't you have to do your eyes first or else you're gonna have fallout all over the place but other than that i think it's a really cute palette it's nicely pigmented i had fun creating this look it got a little out of hand y'all it it got a lot out of hand. This is not what I intended to do, but this is what happened. Okay, so I did uh, do like a double cut crease with a negative space. You can see my skin on my lid. And that's because I wanted to play around with some of my NYX Vivid Bright Liners. So I did play around with some of my liners on the lower cut crease portion and the upper cut crease is the eyeshadow. So I don't even know at this point how I'm gonna edit up this video. Might be long, might be super short, but if you'd like to see how I created this eye look using Christie's new Pure Palette, stay tuned because it's coming up next. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base, and this is the shade Rumor 04. Just tapping that out so I can get a nice, even base for this look. So I decided to start out with the bright pink shade. This is called Side Effect. And this is when I knew that I was going to have some nicely pigmented shadows to play with <laughs> as soon as I tapped that on my lid. Now right next to that, I'm going into the red, which is called Flavor Town, using another fluffy brush just to tap that right next to that pink and just gently blending those edges together. But knowing that I was using pigments, that's why I'm using the tapping motion because I want to get the most color payoff. Now I'm going into the yellow shade, which is Dandelion. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. But you can see here on my lid, the fallout is real <laughs> from this yellow. It's just kind of trickling down on my lid. And I wanted to show you guys on the palette how that fallout looks. But next I'm going into Garden State. I think this might be my favorite colorful shade in this palette. This teal, kind of teal blue green shade, oh it's so so pretty. Right next to that I'm going into Hurtful. Beautiful blue color, nicely pigmented as well. Just tapping that right next to that teal. As you can see of course I'm going for this rainbow gradient today. And right next to that blue, I'm going into purple, which is Tribute, and just tapping just a small amount right next to that blue. I wasn't sure what shape I wanted for this eye look, but I knew I just wanted a rainbow on top. So I'm just kind of let it take on its own shape as I build that purple up in that outer corner there. Now I decided to go ahead and clean off my lid with some eye makeup remover. Instead of using my white Revolution Cut Crease Canvas today, I wanted to leave a negative space um, for my lid and actually show a little bit of my lid. So I'm just cleaning that eyeshadow off and creating a cut crease with nothing down. Now I decided to use some of my NYX vivid bright eyeliners today i wanted to kind of play around with these and just kind of see how the color payoff is on my lid so i started out with the purple next i decided to go in with the blue and i will list these down in the description box you guys so you'll have the name just in case you want to pick some up for yourself they're very very bright and colorful as you can see extremely vivid now i'm going into the green <clears throat> now with the green it's a beautiful green shade, but it's a bit lighter than what I wanted for my lid. So since I already started placing it down and it is a liner and it started to dry, I had to go in with some of that teal shade from the palette. And I just tapped a bit of that teal color right on top of that green just to deepen it up a bit. Now I'm taking my yellow liquid liner from NYX and I'm just placing just a bit of that right next to that green. As you guys, you know, have already seen it with the eye look, <laughs> I kind of changed my mind a little bit with the yellow and decided to create a bit more of a line on top of my eyeliner. So I'm just going in and blending out the edge of that yellow with some green. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner, creating an extremely bold wing today. <laughs> Like I said, I just kind of let this eye look take a look, take on a life of its own, really. And um, all I can say is, honey, if doing too much was an eye look, <laughs> this would be it. Because this eye look was definitely doing too much. And by the time I finished, I was over it. I was totally over it. You know, my liner was just acting funny and I just couldn't get it to do what I wanted to but you know it is what it is so i popped on some lashes and decided for my lower lash line i wanted to well initially i decided i wanted to keep it simple so i went in with some black eyeliner but then i decided you know what let me play with these colorful shades a little bit more just to kind of see how they'll do with no base so i put down some pink right next to that i put down some purple now I'm going in with a bit of the yellow, just tapping it next to that purple. 
And right next to that yellow, I'm going in with that beautiful teal shade. Oh, I love that shade, you guys. It's so pretty, so nicely pigmented. And then right next to that teal, lastly, I'm going in with the blue shade, that hurtful. It's like that dark kind of navy blue. And I really like how those colors look right next to each other. So now I'm just placing a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. I did have a lot of eyeshadow <laughs> get on my lashes. So I'm just covering them with mascara. For my lips, I'm going in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner. I really wanted to go nude today, you guys, but I got this new lipstick from Cara Beauty, and the color was so pretty. I just said, you know what? I'm going to put this on because I want to see what it looks like. So it's this beautiful kind of soft metallic type uh, lipstick. I don't know how to describe it. It's really soft and metallic. It is a matte liquid lipstick so it does stay on but this is what she looks like there's a little bit of metallicness to it so this is the look you guys like i said it's a lot <laughs> but i had a lot of fun creating it so thanks so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles